After I saw that our next Superman is essentially a dollar store version of Henry Cavill, I almost took to the streets with a sign that said hashtag not my Superman, but then I thought about it and this actually makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Hi y'all, Snarky J Cosplay here. Unless you've been living under a rock, you have either heard of or participated in the discourse regarding James Gunn's firing slash not firing of Henry Cavill as Superman. It's no secret that most fans of the DCEU actually loved Henry Cavill as Superman, even if we haven't technically seen him get to play the guy since 2017, unless you count, of course, his ill-fated cameo in Black Adam that really never came to mean anything anyway. Just last week, James Gunn announced his casting choices for both Clark Kent and Lois Lane for his upcoming Superman Legacy film. Replacing Henry Cavill as Superman is none other than David Corinsweat, and replacing Amy Adams as Lois Lane is Rachel Brosnahan. So like I said, initially I was kind of annoyed because if you compare these two guys, David Corinsweat is like your great value version of Henry Cavill. They look a lot alike. It's really not that big a difference. But then again, James Gunn never said that it was Henry Cavill's look that was a problem. In fact, what James Gunn said was that he wanted to take Superman in a younger direction. And if that's what he's doing, then admittedly it is unfortunate because I love Henry Cavill and I love him as Clark Kent, but this is actually the perfect move for Warner Brothers to make. First of all, Henry Cavill and David David Corrin Sweat actually both tower at 6 feet 4 inches tall, which is an impressive height standing next to anybody, something that is absolutely vital to Superman's impressive physique being a big part of his character. Some fans have taken to the internet to complain that David is on the thinner side, but Henry Cavill was not always the prime hunk of beef that he is today. Stop it. Get some help. And either way, most of these action stars get pumped up with enough protein and steroids to kill a horse, so I'm pretty sure that that combo, as well as a well-built muscle suit, will make David look like the Superman that we've all been waiting for after Henry's firing. The important thing here, though, is that David Corrin Sweat is actually only 29 years old, and he actually looks a little younger, if you ask me. Henry Cavill, perfect as he may be, is already 40, which means that with as long as film development and production leading up to an eventual release would take, Henry Cavill would at least be into his mid-40s if they did a second Superman Legacy film. David Corrin Sweat isn't even 30, so he's got way more time before he eventually starts looking not as Superman-esque. On another note, I think the casting of Rachel Brosnahan as Lois Lane is absolutely perfect, if you ask me. I'm a huge fan of Amy Adams, but every time I looked at Amy Adams as Lois Lane, I saw Amy Adams as Lois Lane. I didn't see Lois Lane. Rachel Brosnahan is well known to fans of the Amazon series The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, in which she plays a female stand-up comic trying to rise up through the ranks in the late 1950s and early early 1960s. However, her character could actually be compared to a more amped up version of Lois Lane. And that's why I think she is a perfect casting choice. Not only does she already look like a lot of the comic book illustrations of Lois Lane, but she definitely has the right attitude to portray Superman's lucky lady. Not to mention, she's also much closer in age to David Corrin Sweat. She's only 32 while he's 29. Henry Cavill is 40 while Amy Adams is 48. I think both of these people look great for their age, but the disparity in their ages definitely does look a little obvious, so I think that this casting choice definitely feels more fresh and more prepared for the kind of Superman story that James Gunn wants to tell. I can't say I have all the hope in the world for a James Gunn Superman film. From what I've seen of James Gunn's superhero films, I think that oftentimes he kind of uses these characters more as 
tools for gore and comedy, I don't think that he entirely gets these characters sometimes. I'm not sure that James Gunn has the chops or the desire to give these characters their due diligence in terms of writing, but as much as I hate to say it, I think this casting choice is absolutely fantastic, and I'm really curious to see where they take Superman Legacy next. While I am absolutely going to miss seeing Henry Cavill in that cape, I think the fact that David looks like an off-brand version of him will make it so we don't miss him too much, and if he acts the part as well as he can look the part, then we've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> That's all from me. I've been Snarky J. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and let me know your thoughts on the new Superman casting choices in the comments below.